All right, guys, I've got a couple more modifications to make on my Rabala 266 Cayman. And this time, I'm, I'm drilling. I'm not real happy about this. I've, uh, I've sea suckered the boat out. I'm absolutely in love with sea sucker, but I've run out of space. Anyway, I'm a little nervous. And when I get nervous, I think what really calms me down is a little IPA. IPA and power tools, you know. Look at that. Steady me right out. Anyway, I'm going to measure 10 times and cut once here. Not something I've looked forward to. I've done this quite a bit on other boats. I'm just kind of joking around, but uh, honestly, it is a little scary. I'm not going to lie. And then I got one other thing I wanted to, to talk about at the very end of this video. I got a really cool new camera that you'll see this on the channel quite a bit. Now, I'm going to shoot a lot of B-roll and a lot of other stuff with this camera. Just starting to set it up, it's really cool, but stay tuned to the very end of this video if you want to see a little bit more about why I picked this camera and why I picked this lens after a lot of research. Let's get to drilling. Okay, so the goal for today is to put this bad boy right here. I'm loving how I did it on the other side of this cabin, and when I'm over here, I'm always looking for tools, and this, this area is perfect. This will hold a pliers and a bokeh grip, two knives, mainly going to use it for the pliers, but I'm loving it. All right, I've obviously checked the back side of this. There's nothing back there, and I'm not going to overthink this too much. I want this pretty much centered here. I'm going to pop in one hole, then I'll get it level, pop in the other hole, uh, and work from there. scared all right perfect 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 now honestly don't know if it's long enough I had to guess that a little bit and uh, I got a feeling it's close we'll see we shall see all right obviously can't use a level here because the boat's not level to the world so it's really best to just use my eyes what I think I'm gonna do is take my time here tape this son of a gun down Take a step back. A sip of beer always helps. Well, that looks pretty level. No reason to be in a big rush here when you're drilling holes in your boat. And I wonder if that side is up just a tad. There. Kind of using the floor. Oh, we're perfect. We're perfect length. All right, we got four more to go. The normal day would take about 20 minutes to do this and overthink it. But, you know, I'm getting older. Done this before. We'll put the washers and nuts on. All right, well, it looks like I might have an issue with my length. Oh, you always drop them. You always he drop does. one. All right, I gotta go around the side here. Got him. <laughs> yeah, would you look at that? I gotta get longer screws. Every job is multiple trips to the hardware store. No big whoopster. All right, we got a couple cranks on that one just to hold it. A little temporary job, but good enough for YouTube. Well, I'm going to consider that done for today. And I'll come back with some longer screws. So I'll just put the extra uh, extra hardware in my pocket. I'm sure I'll remember that. Okay, while I'm in the bathroom area here, I got one other project to do. This is pretty cool. I... All right, so I was out fishing the other day, and I was just kind of looking in here. I was thinking about... I want a place to be able to hang documentation here. I just thought it'd be perfect. So look at this little product. And it just comes on these little hangers. Stick that in here. I could put them on both sides, really. But I'll, I'll just do one. I'll see if I'm using them a lot. I'll drop another one in. This wasn't expensive. Got this at Boat Outfitters as well, same order. So let's just drop it in. And kind of eyeball it, all right. A little pilot quick switch her over 
just going to put one in and then I'll level it. I think this will be a slick little system for documentation. It's kind of free space to use. Oh, you always got to drop it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Boom. Dropped her home. Let's see if we like that. We do. Enjoying a nice night after work. Oh, canal life. I love having the boat so accessible. I'm just so freaking lucky. All right. Could have been a little straighter, but it's not gonna matter. You can't really even see it. All right, we're just gonna do a functional measurement here. Just hold it. Want to do is mark it really. Sharpie would have been a good job for that. All right, may as well do them both. We got a good grip on her. Okay, that first project was a little more scary than this one. Sure wish I'd had the right length screws. I thought I nailed it, but what do you do? Perfect. One to go and we're all done. Alrighty, how do we do? Boom, I'm loving it. Look at that. I don't got anything to put in there right now, but I only got it on backwards. But, oh, but, but the beauty, the beauty of this kind of thing, is I flipped it around, look at that. Put stuff in there all day. I don't know if that was a problem that needed to be solved, but I did it. I'm still sitting over here in the, in the bathroom area. Just installed that masterpiece. But I was looking at this the other day, I was thinking this thing swings out so nice. Why don't I have it where I got some storage here and I can keep really light things? Cause I know this is on hinge here. I don't want to strain the hinge out, but check this out. Just, what if I just throw some adhesive ones up here? I don't know how long they'll last, but I'm going to try this. Never used this product before. Well, that's considerably smaller than I thought. How big's the other one? About two of these bad boys. Yeah, I knew I bought two different sizes. Well, that'll work. I like that, actually. I don't know what about this. You know, one thing about the smaller one is the adhesive is probably going to hold better just because put less in it. Maybe I'll just come right off of that guy, straight with the wall. Velcro is definitely not an exact science. I Velcroed a TV to the wall one time. Work. Boom. That IPA has got me. I'm, I'm working smooth today. Cheers, brother. Now, as we got to do, tops and bottoms. Looks like that bottom is right on that screw, but that's all right. This has got to be some exciting video. <laughs> Watch this idiot Velcro thing here. Actually, but think of the concept though. Just take away on the concept, not the uh, workmanship. You know what I'm saying? I think the concept, concept's cool. It's got Velcro strips all over the place. Oh, man, I hope that's all right. I'm kind of going too fast now. Getting, getting saucy, look at that, terrible. Terrible, terrible. Dude, you gotta measure stuff once in a while. Boom. Now, I think I'm gonna put like my fishing line in here. I mean, it'll be perfect for that. This is not heavy at all. That's gonna stay there forever. All right, just so happens I do have a cutting device on board. We're gonna cut this thing to length. Voila with my pinfish shears. So now we got a good top. Drop that down. We're gonna go straight across there. Perfect. Okay. Little side piece. Right there. Side piece right there. 
The other one I want to be a little more measurable with. Okay, so for the bottom piece, it is going to go right there. Yeah. Well, I think that it came out actually. Those are awesome. All right, no idea what I'm going to use that for, but that's free storage as far as I'm concerned. Keep some white stuff in here. We'll see how they hold up. I'll report back. Let's check out the finished product. <laughs> check that out. I put this up here. I thought that looked cool. I got that from the company who sent me the uh, the rulers. Got my documentation in there. Got my first aid kit up off the ground. It's in a dry bag, but I don't want that to get all wet. That came out pretty good. That was 10 minutes of work, if that. Right, we're, gonna do a, we're gonna do a couple quick installations here on a Friday. I'll show you what I'm doing. I've had this spot here and I just, I, I, we're always setting things here. People have been setting their phones here. Uh, I've had some tackle set there and I really just want to protect this area and make it look real neat. And I was up one night whipping around on Instagram and check out what I found. Boom, look at that guy. It was like perfect color. Looks like it fits in there real nice. It's just an adhesive. So I'm gonna peel that off and stick it on there. See how that works out. I think it's a two step process. Step one, peel. Step two, stick. And it fits this kind of perfect. Be right up in there. Ooh, I'm liking that. <laughs> oh, that didn't, that got in there perfect. That was legit. Check out that functionality in a second. All right, this next one from the same company. I've been kind of fighting this one because I just love how clean this looks. Uh, but as you saw from my last video, I got my rod holders put in. And so I've kind of got my layout set up on the, on the gunnel now. And I'm just fighting looking for a measuring stick. So I went and just got their traditional 36 inch foam, about two of them, one for each side. All right, two step process. Actually three steps. I did clean the surface before I peeled this. I'm a YouTuber. I try to make things look easier than they are. I'm going to go like an inch off of the diamond pattern there. I'll try to get it as straight as possible. I did take a sip of beer before I started this, so I should be pretty smooth. And I can see the diamonds pretty good. So I'm just going using that pattern. Boom. I don't know how well it'll stick on this diamond, but I'll report back my results. All right, let's do the other side. This is one of these projects you're, you're working on a Friday, just waiting to get done with work so you can go stick your new ruler on your boat. <laughs> That's the kind of stuff I do anyway. This is really sticky. I'm liking this adhesive. All right, same, same thing. I'm gonna go right in the middle. And I'm looking right at the diamond patterns there. Nice. Nice, look at that. Oh yeah, total functionality, I'm happy with that. All right, we got rulers. Now a little, quick little project. We'll, uh, we'll put some fish on those rulers tomorrow, I hope. Well, yeah, that was a really quick project. <laughs> Wasn't as scary as I thought. Got it done, I'm super happy with the way it came out. That job was so quick, I still got some beer left. My dad said, job's not over until the tools are put away. All right, well, as you can see behind me, it's not a day for fishing here on the canal. I, I thought what I'd do is, is get familiar with the brand new camera that I just picked up. This is a Sony a7S III, and I did a ton of research on this camera. And the reason why I picked this one is because this camera is supposed to be best hybrid between photo and video uh, in low light conditions. And I thought, uh, for what I'm gonna use it for out fishing, on my channel Canal Life probably suit me pretty well. So it's definitely a high-end camera. I've got a lot to learn with this camera and I'll, I'll put some of that on my channel. This is a, this is a fishing channel first and foremost, uh, but I do enjoy playing around with gear. I think a lot of people who probably watch this channel are, are uh, people that are into gears. If you're into fishing, you're into gear. So I'm around wildlife all the time and I really can't capture it on my GoPro. And so I thought this camera would be a great option for me. When I bought this camera, it said camera only, and I thought, you know, that's what I want to do. I want to buy just the camera, and I'll accessorize it versus buying a bundle. And I've noticed, you know, when you buy a bundle, a lot of times you don't get the, the quality you want, and it's also just more fun picking stuff out. So 
I bought this camera only. I was all excited to shoot with it yesterday. I opened it up and it doesn't have a lens on it. So that's how little I, <laughs> I know about cameras. Camera only really means camera only. So I thought it would have a fixed lens on it, uh, but it, it doesn't. And now I know that I feel stupid. So I, I did a bunch of research and I picked out this lens. I think this lens will be a good, a good lens for me. I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna buy some other lenses, but I think this lens should keep me busy for a while. This is a Tamron. 27 by 75 millimeter f 2.8. I'm just starting to get to know what all that stuff means, but it's a variable focus lens So I can shoot 28. I can shoot like vlog style, you know, maybe it's not great for that I think 24 is best, but I can shoot up close in the boat And then also the 75 should give me some reach to get out to some subjects that are, are further away I'm thinking, you know, eagles and uh, Dolphins stuff like that. I think for wildlife. I wanted that ability to get out a little bit So that's why I picked this lens out opening up here for the first time I should say one of the reasons I picked Tamron as a as a, a beginner here all my research suggested that it's a it's a good value lens uh, Buying a Sony lens is about twice the price. I got this. This is actually renewed so it's not new, it, it had been returned, but it's got a warranty for 90 days. And it was about $150 off. So I picked this up for like 750 on Amazon, of course. It's just crazy how you click a button and something like that shows up on your doorstep the next day. All right, here we go. How cool is that? That feels sturdy. I don't know how to put it on there. Definitely don't want to be doing this in the boat too often. How intuitive is it? <laughs> Pretty intuitive. If I can do it that quickly, anybody can do it a lot quicker. Never had a camera like this before. I'm looking forward to seeing what I can do with it. And also really looking forward to learning about it. It also give me something to research, keep me busy, keep me off the street, if you know what I mean. So looking kind of fun, never even turn it on. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> Look for some new photography on the channel. I'm looking forward to experimenting with this camera, getting to know it. I live in such a beautiful place for wildlife photography. I think this is kind of a must have for someone like me who's got a, a channel and really enjoys video and photography. I've been shooting everything so far on a GoPro. I've got an 11. This is an 11, that's a 12. And the reason I have the 12 is because my other 11 didn't float. So <laughs> hopefully this uh, doesn't have the same fate. I do have a strap for it that I'm gonna put on here in just a second to prevent me from dropping it or help me from dropping it. But okay, that's all I got.